Hi students, now we are watching 8th class mathematics, 7th unit, exercise 7.3. The exercise 7.3 is dealing with the factorization of a trinomial expressions by splitting the middle terms. Factorization of a trinomial. Trinomial by splitting the middle term. So, you have already learned how to do factorization. Are we done or not? Of course, we done the factorization using some for formulas like a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square, a square minus b square, something like that. But here, the we are going to take a trinomial ex expression okay the trinomial expression that trinomial expression we have to factorize by splitting the middle term okay that is the reason the topic is factorization of a trinomial by splitting the middle term now i am directly moving to the exercise 7.3 have a look here there is no problems in the exercise 7.3 but still some one ls is there. Okay. Don't worry about all these things. I will just explain how to do factorize by taking these examples. I will like, we have to match this column A with the column B. Okay. I will explain two problems. You have to do remaining by your own. First one. x square plus 7x plus 12. How to factorize this expression? So this is the expression we have to factorize. And which method we are going to use now? Splitting the middle term. What is the middle term here? 7x. 7x we have to split. In how many ways we can split 7x? 1x plus 6x. 2x plus 5x. 3x plus 4x. Like this and reverse. 4x plus 3x. 5x plus 3x. 6x. Sorry. 2x and 6x plus 1x. Right? And out of all these things, we have to choose only one. Which one we have to choose out of these three? How to choose that? That should be based like, assume P plus Q and P into Q. The P plus Q should be the middle term. The P and Q should be the multiplication of first term into second term it should be a multiplication of first term into second term so here three different types are there by taking which term we will get when we will get p plus q equals to middle term p into q should be product of first and last terms okay so here what is p plus q 7x p plus q should be 7 p into q p plus q is 7 p into q is p into q is 12 into 1 12 okay now, which of 3 will satisfy these two? 6 plus 1, 7. Okay. But 6 into 1 is not 12, right? Okay. So, this is not possible. Next, 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay. But 5 2 is not 12. So, this is also not possible. Last one, 3x plus 4x. So, 7. 4 3 is a 12. Both the conditions are satisfied, no? So, we have to split the 7x as 3x plus 4x. First one, ma, that is that uh, just explanation. How to choose the two numbers. x square plus 7x, uh, 4 plus 3, na? 4x plus 3x plus 12. 4 plus 3, 7x. Now, 
I am taking two as one part and these two as another part. What is common in these two terms? X. So take X on one side. What is the remaining X? Plus what is the remaining here? 4. Plus. <coughs> sorry. Uh, 3X plus 12. Here 3 is in common place. X plus 3 4s are 12. Okay. Again. In these two terms. X plus 4. X plus 4 common no. Say so take out that. X plus 4 into X plus 3. We factorized or not? Simple. Three steps. But you should be able to understand which two numbers we have to use to split it. That should be P plus Q. Means this one. P into Q means product of first term and third term. Okay. So here 12 into 1 is 12. So 4, 4, plus, 4, into, that, 4 into 3 is 12. That is the reason we choose 4 and 3. Now, second one. This is the second problem, no? So, here P plus Q will be minus 1. P into Q will be minus 72. Minus 72 into 1. Minus 72. What can be P, P plus Q? Which two numbers? Minus 1 means one big number and one less number. The bigger number will be having the negative sign. And those two numbers should be con consecutive. Because when we will get minus 1, like minus 2 plus 1, minus 3 plus 2, those two should be the consecutive numbers. By multiplying those two numbers, we should get the product 72. Is there any numbers? Do you, ha do you have any idea? Just count 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3, 6, 4 threes, 12. See, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3, 6, 3 into 4, 12, 4 into 5, 20, 5 into 6, 30, right? 6 into 7, 42, 7 into 8, 56, 8 into 9, 72. See, these are all consecutive numbers or not? 8 into 9, 72. So, this, this will be satisfied our condition. Okay. So, we have to split by using 8 and 9. x square minus 9x plus 8x minus 72. Now taking x as a common, x minus 9 plus, now I am taking 8 as a common, x minus 8 nines are 72. Again which is common here, x minus 9, what is the remaining x plus 8, understand? <coughs> now, Let me explain the third one. 2x square plus 5x minus 12. So here P plus Q should be 5x. P into Q should be 2 into minus 12. So minus 24. So here it is a positive number and here it is a negative number. Okay. To find out that number, here I am going to write the factors of minus 24. What are the factors of 24? 1 into 24, 2 into 12, 3 into 8. See here, 8 and 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. So, 8 plus of minus 3, you will get 5 or not. And 8 into 3 will be 24 or not. Okay. So, we have to split it as plus 8 minus 3. 2x square plus 5x minus 12. 
टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस नो 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 राइट एट एक्स प्लस एट एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक टू एक्स कॉमन फॉर दीज टू वॉट इज रिमाइनिंग एक्स प्लस फोर टू एक्स इंटू एक्स टू एक्स स्क्वेर टू एक्स इंटू फोर फोर टू जार एट एट एक्स ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक माइनस थ्री एज ए कॉमन एक्स प्लस वी हैव ट्रेड बिकॉज माइनस इंटू प्लस माइनस नो थ्री फोर जार ट्वेल्व नाउ एक्स प्लस फोर इज कॉमन वॉट इज रिमाइनिंग टू एक्स माइनस थ्री अंडरस्टैंड ओके लाइक दिस डू रिमाइनिंग ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स आई एक्सप्लेन वन टू थ्री हाउ टू डू फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ओके ओके बाई दिस एक्सेस सेवन पॉइंट थ्री इज कंप्लीटेड Now I will explain exercise seven point four. 